have is the ability to really uh, deflect the wings uh, as the air loads act on the wing and really get some realistic wing deflection. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that, and then we will hop in a helicopter and go fly over the little virtual world to uh, to see to see what kind of world we build. Um, and maybe we'll start off in the helicopter. But I want to take one question while this loads. We haven't quite optimized loading yet, so just so that people are bored. Anybody wants one question? Yeah, you. What are the minimum system requirements? Okay, so the minimum system requirements, first of all, I don't know, because we're so early in beta. <laughs> I, I haven't learned that today yet. But what I can tell you is the system requirements are going to be tremendously varied. I believe that whatever runs X-Plane 9 will run X-Plane 10 every bit as good as long as you're willing to fly with minimum rendering options. However, if you crank up the options to the absolute maximum, they don't make a system yet to completely absorb that. So what we're building is a multi-processor uh, platform that can be scalable for years into the future. But the bottom line is, if you have an average, ordinary, humdrum machine that runs X-Plane 9, I don't think you're going to have any problem at all running X-Plane 10. But you just won't see all of the amazing things that X-Plane 10 can do unless you have lots and lots and lots of core. <coughs> because that's what's going to take you to build all the scenery, all the cores, all the airplanes, all the cars, all at the same time. So, okay. All right, well, I haven't optimized our load time yet, so why don't, I guess that means it's time for question number two. Anybody? Yes? Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, in the past versions of X-Plane, the default airports were black. Sorry. There were no okay. Sorry. Right. Okay. Airplane. Right. So what we um, have.